A reckoning in the U.S. Congress over the chaotic and messy exit from Afghanistan as the military's top brass faced uh, tough questions almost a month after the troops' withdrawal. Caroline Malone has more from Washington, D.C. Well, the military chiefs answered some tough questions from lawmakers on Tuesday, in particular about what kind of intelligence they'd seen about the Taliban taking over as quickly as it did. The Secretary of Defense, General Austin, said they were actually surprised at how the Afghan army and its partners had left their post so quickly, which had allowed the Taliban to move in more easily, and that they hadn't appreciated the depths of corruption and poor leadership, or that the Afghan president would flee the country as he did in mid-August. All the military chiefs did agree that the knowledge that the U.S. troops were withdrawing would have impacted the morale of the Afghan security forces who were actually used to having their U.S. and NATO allies around. The generals had said that they'd advise President Biden earlier in the year to keep some troops, which contradicts what Biden had said that no one had in fact warned him. Well, General McKenzie, head of U.S. Central Command, spoke in detail about his views on keeping the U.S. troops. Senator, uh, again, I... I won't share my personal recommendation to the president, but I will give you my honest opinion, and my honest opinion and view shaped my recommendation. I recommended that we maintain 2,500 troops in Afghanistan, and I also recommended earlier in the fall of 2020 that we maintain 4,500 at that time. Those are my personal views. I also have a view that the withdrawal of those forces would lead inevitably to the collapse of the Afghan military forces and eventually the Afghan government. Well, the military chiefs actually disagreed with the question about whether the pullout had impacted the reputation of the United States abroad. The chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Miley, saying the credibility of the U.S. with its allies and partners globally is being reviewed. Uh, one of the questions to him was about whether any damage had been done, and he said damage may be one word to use to describe the effect on the U.S. reputation. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.